Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the lineage of the AS350 and how do you know what model you're looking at. And there's a lot of them to go through, so we'll, we'll make this fast. The original AS350 was the AS350C. It had a light combing engine in it. It was only in production for about a year before they switched over to the D model, a little bit more powerful a light combing engine. And if you look at the helicopter, you can tell by looking at the exhaust if you have a D model or at about the same time they certified the AS350B model for the rest of the world which had a turbo mecha um, aerial engine in it, a 1B engine in it. So you can just see the difference between the two exhausts on uh, these helicopters. The um, AS350B1 came out in 1986 and by then they had stopped producing the D model because of the various issues they had with the with the engine. Now if you look at the difference between the B and the B1 uh, by aesthetics, the major difference is that the blades are now gray. They're bigger gray blades that they got off the AS355. And then uh, shortly after that they certified the AS350B2 in 1989. Uh, you notice that the exhaust now is canted over to the left a little bit. It has the 1D1 engine at the Aerial 1D1. Now after that, in 1991, they came out with a kit so that if you had a B model AS350, you could put the bigger gray blades on it, and they call that kit the BA. So if you had, there was no production uh, AS350 BA, they were all kits. Um, and then in 1997, they came out with the first B3 model. Now this initial B3 model had a single channel FADEC and a um, throttle backup to that. And you can tell by looking at the helicopter that it now has a longer exhaust and there's a heat shield on the tailbone. Then in 2004, they came out with the 2B1. The major difference between the 2B1 and the 2B is the 2B1 has a dual channel FADEC uh, instead of that throttle uh, backup. Now about halfway within the 2B1 production, they went to dual hydraulics, at least in the United States. And you can tell by looking at the helicopter if it has dual or single hydraulics in it, is the single hydraulics have that boot. And the dual hydraulic system uh, equipped helicopters don't have that boot. Then in 2006, uh, they upgraded the B2, which they were still manufacturing at the time, and they put a VEMD in it, uh, different caution panel. So it was just some of the items within the cockpit, cockpit and they called it uh, an AS350 B2 VEMD. They only produced that for about two years. It had also a different uh, fuel flow control lever on it. And then in 2015, they came out with the B3E. The uh, B3E has the Aerial 2D engine in it, a uh, substantial increase in power. And if you look at the difference between the 2B1 and the uh, B3E, the um, tail boom uh, heat shield has gotten larger. They, got, they took the one off of the um, EC-130. So I hope that answers any questions about the variants within the AS350 model. And we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial. Thank you.